Now we're joined by someone who understands the inner workings of the ECB. Tobias Blattner is a European economist at Daiwa Capital Markets now, after working at the ECB for seven years. Welcome uh, to the show, Tobias. In terms of what we can actually expect, is it almost a done deal that Mario Draghi will get the job? Because there was a little bit of political wrangling. There's, of course, another Italian on the board, Mr. Binismaghi, and he has been asked to leave, and it's unclear whether the French will actually oppose a Draghi nomination if Binismaghi doesn't leave. Yeah. No, I think it's a done deal. I think we can expect that European leaders will nominate Mario Draghi as the next president of the ECB. Today? Today, yes, I presume. Uh, I think the politicians have gone the wrong way in putting public pressure on Bini Smaghi right now because ECB board members are independent and it's clearly the wrong way to go and put public pressure on them to step down because mm -hmm. what can they expect? Call them and just ask them to step down. He will clearly not do that. I mean, after his time, after he needs time to think about the proposal and then he will clearly think Bini Smaghi knows that uh, national diversity on the ECB board is an important element. And he will support that. But so what does it mean to buy? So for the moment, if Mario Draghi actually gets nominated today, he'll become uh, the ECB president in November. Bini Smaghi stays until he decides to step down, and now there's no political will to step down, is there? No, there's not. I mean, as I said, they are really independent, so they make the decision. But I guess that Mario, uh, that Bini Smaghi will clearly see that this national diversity is an important element. Mm -hmm. And so I think he will take the offer from Italy and probably be the next governor of the Bank of Italy. But again, at the same time, independent is the key word. So uh, these guys on the board, although they can be Italian, French or Spanish, are meant to be independent. And so have you seen any indication that they're not, that it would be wrong to have two Italians on the board? No, clearly not. I mean, clearly Bini Smaghi and Mario Draghi at the same time at the board would still go the European way and would still mm -hmm. think in terms of Europe and for the good of Europe. But still, of course, I think the same time as it was uh, a pity that there's no women now at the board present, at the same time it would be good, I think, to also have national diversity yeah. on the board. Uh, Tobias, so one very quick question about the assets of Mario Draghi. Yeah. What can he bring to the table? He's going to do such a good job like Mr. Trichet, because at least Mr. Trichet had a consensus in the board. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Trichet was really a very well diplomat, and he's very well uh, recognized by the council. But the same is also true for Mario Draghi. I mean, he's a member of that council for a couple of years now already. He's very, very recognized. I mean, he knows how the inner workings are of the council, and, uh, and that would be a good asset because ECB is a very young institution, so we won't see a big shift in ECB policy making once he will be next as president. And this is a very good thing for the ECB. So it will be steady as she goes. There's not going to be, he's not going to be much more hawkish than Mr. Trichet. No, he won't. I mean, he will continue the way as Mr. Trichet led the ECB, and that is a good news for the ECB. What is the, the one pitfall? I mean, he comes, he takes a helm at a really difficult time. We have Greece, we have all of the contagion. How much more difficult is it going to be for Mr. Draghi than it was for Mr. Trichet when he took over? I mean, the good news is really that he has been there during the crisis as well, so he really knows where we are and where we are heading to. And so he can continue the same way as Mr. Trichet was leading the ECB, and he can yeah. also lead through this crisis in the same confident way as Mr. Trichet was doing. All right, Tobias, thank you so much. Tobias Blattner there from Daiwa Capital Market.